Uh, I'm Solomon Ayeledurs, an Ethiopian uh, by nationality. I am a lawyer by profession, uh, mm -hmm. studied at the Center for Human Rights uh, as part of the uh, LLM program on uh, human rights and democratization in Africa. Can you describe what your experiences were with uh, the HRDA program at the Center for Human Rights? Uh, you always feel that uh, there is very little time mm -hmm. uh, left on your hands uh, to engage uh, in depth. You often feel that you are uh, living under pressure <laughs> and sometimes to a point of doubting yourself whether or not you have actually picked up anything <laughs> substantive and, 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 and uh, meaningful. The most important aspect of the engagement at the Center for Human Rights is the opportunity that it presents for expanding your horizon, the possibility of being able not only to master the language of human rights, but also be able to uh, make use of that language for purpose of making a very powerful communication. What have been the most challenging things you have faced in your career or, and maybe the highlights of your career after you started doing the HRD program? First, understanding yourself, your strength, your weakness, mm -hmm. and after that, uh, how to uh, create opportunities and make use of those opportunities. So deciding what it is that I need to take myself to. So what are the channels that a person can take up in order to you know, reach out to the African Commission on Human and People's Rights in the event that they have something they want to, an issue they want to raise? Anyone who can commute, who can espouse your cause, can actually, on your behalf, make a representation with the African Commission on Human and People's Rights. So the Commission, for example, doesn't have a very strict standing requirement that for you to approach the Commission, you need to be the person who has been affected by okay. the, the violation of okay. rights. This has been Africa Rights Talk with me, Tatenda Musina Hamai. Join us in our other episodes as we continue to explore other human rights issues.